Oh, hey YouTube. Um, I've been practicing the guitar again. I started originally when I was maybe about 11. Yeah, 11 or 12 years old. And um, I, st I started on just regular guitar at a beginner level. And then when I was in high school, I did um, uh, the mariachi guitar. And uh, I never felt like I was good the way that I wanted to be. And um, I never really advanced as much as I wanted to. Um, you know, was, when I was in mariachi, they just taught, you know, chords and songs and stuff like that. And, I, I wanted to learn more, understand the guitar, and I never felt like I did that. And um, for a long time, I've just been, you know, trying to learn. And uh, recently, I uh, I started back up again and really trying to understand what used to be mysteries to me about the guitar. Now I, I understand them a little bit better. Um, I'm not great. But um, I have been practicing lately, and uh, the reason I started practicing again is because well, I always wanted to play well, and um, I saw a video on YouTube of Taylor Swift doing a live performance of Wildest Dreams, and when she was... Uh, doing her performance I noticed her fingering you know they did a really the camera guy really focused in on her fingers and I was able to decipher uh, what she was playing and how she was playing it and I eventually learned to play the song now I don't play it well I mean I have it even though I've been practicing a lot uh, it doesn't really sound that good um, and when I try to sing it it sounds even worse so if you have really delicate ears you might want to skip this video because I am gonna try to sing but uh, I guess I'm just gonna talk more uh, and not sing so much because I I recorded myself trying to sing it and it ain't no that did not come out right. <laughs> so, I'm just going to try to uh, talk the melody and really focus more on the guitar. Um, also, I really like Taylor Swift. You know, I think she's really pretty. And I do like her music. I, I liked it more when she was in country. Um, uh, when she moved into the whole pop thing, it, it wasn't really my thing, but... When she uh, plays the acoustic versions of her new songs, it, it sounds really nice, and, and, and that inspired me to get back into the guitar again. And uh, I really like the way she played this one, and I'm going to try to play it exactly like she did. So it's not going to be a flawless performance. Um, I am going to stop once in a while just to explain what I'm doing. So um, I hope you enjoy. So here goes.
He's so bad, but he does it so well. I can see the end as it begins. My one condition is say you'll remember me. Stand in a nice dress. Nice dress. Staring at the sunset, babe. Red She does this really cool thing where it's the same progression but it's muted so she puts her palm here and then she gets into this early 90s late 80s kind of cranberries the cure kind of sound where it's like um, you see me in hindsight tangled up with you all night burning Standing in a nice dress, staring at the sunset, babe, red lips and rosy cheeks, say you'll see me again, even if it's just pretend, say
standing in a nice dress, staring at the sunset, babe. Red lips and rosy cheeks. Say you'll see me again, even if it's just pretend. Obviously, she sings it a lot better. Um, but that's kind of what I liked about uh, the way she did it when she was doing it live. And I could almost mimic what she did. Uh, obviously, voice-wise, I don't have the voice, but... Um, Guitar wise, I'm pretty much there. And um, it was a really nice song. I really like it. And I really like playing it on the guitar. It, it sounds really nice. Um, I also like the breakdown of it. Um, when she's uh, in the part of the chorus, where, where, for example, it's like this, where I said, No one has to know what we do. No one has to know what we do. His hands are in my hair. His clothes are in my room. Room. And his voice is a familiar sound. Nothing lasts forever. But this is getting good now. He's so tall. a G and then she changes it sounds really nice I like to go ahead and do each note individually she's usually strumming everything and I think the song sounds prettier when you do each individual note if really and especially in the beginning when she when she does the intro it's continues to sing I think that sounds a lot better when, when she when she did that because right now when I'm doing this isn't my thing I'm trying to I'm trying to mimic the way she does it and that's how she starts she does she does a regular uh, C chord and then she strums certain strings in that chord that's it
So obviously, I wish I had a, I wish I had a nice voice so I could sing it the way she sings it. But um, like I said, guitar-wise, I pretty much got it. Um, I feel like I do need to practice more so I could uh, keep up to the same tempo and same speed she does, especially when she's singing it. But um, it's a pretty easy song. And when she played it, uh, this was about, I think maybe four years ago, she won an award at the Grammys. But it was like a private performance. I don't know too much about it. Uh, but I saw I saw it on YouTube and um, she did like a very small presentation. And it was just her on stage with her, with her guitars. And uh, in that video, she does use an electric guitar. Um, and it does have some grain in the background, so. It has a little bit less green than that, but that's pretty much how it is. It She doesn't do that, and when she gets into the chorus, I do that, but um, that's it for not singing, and when she sings it, she does do, the, and she, does, she only does it once, when she gets into the, um, say you'll remember me, she does that, she does the, uh, she does a regular G chord like that, and then she holds down with her thumb, and she only does it once. For the whole song and then she follows the progression regularly and it's about four strums per chord except when you get to the d chord uh, that has a lot of strums so when, she, when you get there
It's like this. It's say you'll remember me standing in a nice dress, staring at the sunset, babe. Red lips and rosy cheeks. Say you'll see me again, even if it's just in your wildest dreams. Uh, uh. does that really cool thing where uh, once it gets into the um, towards the end of the song she mutes everything it's like um and when she's uh Singing that, she's like, you see me in hindsight, tangled up with you all night, burning it down. Someday when you leave me, I bet these memories follow you around. And then she repeats, you see me in hindsight, tangled up with you all night, burning it down. Stops muting. And say you'll remember me standing in a nice dress, staring at the sunset, babe. Red lips and rosy cheeks. Say you'll see me again, even if it's just pretend. So she only strums one time uh, to add some emotion to the song. Which has a lot of emotion. And then she starts up again with, uh, she raises um, the volume of her voice. And this is already towards the end. And she does the strumming all over where it's louder. And it's like, say you me, standing in a nice dress, staring at the sunset, babe. Say you red lips and rosy cheeks. Again, at the end, uh, she she does that a little bit slower, where she only strums one time, and uh, uh, the rhythm slows down, and she just does a say you'll remember me standing in a nice dress, staring at the sunset, babe, red lips and rosy cheeks. Say you'll see me again, even if it's just in your wildest dreams. Uh, and then the last ah, uh, it ends like that. Uh, and she ends the song on a C chord. But um, I really like the way she plays it, and I try to play it the way she does. Obviously, as you can tell, I can't sing it. But um. I really like the song. It's a good song. And I prefer the way she plays it acoustically. I think it's really nice the way she plays it, the way I played it right now. And all of her songs, if you play them acoustically, I think they sound a lot better, you know, not the whole pop thing. Um, when she switched to pop, I, I'm not going to say I didn't like it. But uh, I missed, I missed the country type chords where you could hear the guitar and her voice with the guitar. It's really nice. So, um, yeah, that was me 
playing while it is streamed and trying to sing it. So let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm going to keep on practicing so I can go ahead and just play it a little bit faster. Um, I have my AirPods so I can hear her sing and I try to play at her rhythm. But uh, I think I pretty much got it down. You know, tell me what you think. Do you think I got it down? Does it sound nice? Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, don't be afraid to uh, hurt my feelings. You're not going to hurt my feelings. Just be honest. Uh, put your comment in the comments below. And uh, thank you for listening to me. And I hope you guys have a great night. I will be posting more videos now that I have more time on my hands. And uh, I know a lot of you guys are waiting for the Ghostbuster project. And that is going to be completed soon. At least physically. Like I said, the electronics are going to be a separate story. So thank you for watching. And I hope you guys have a good night. Again, subscribe, share the video. Um, I hope to do more guitar videos. And uh, tell me what you guys think. See you later.